Hey, it's James from Free Electrical, and on today's video, we're doing this little bedroom in the heart of York. Here we go, let's get into this. Right, we're back at the house from last week's video then. So we'll take you through the job. So what's going in then? So this is, this was two rooms. There's a big wall down here with a little tiny room there, so they've knocked through. And now we're just gonna wire it up then. So it's gonna be a big double bed here. Sockets, sockets, a little light switch, light switch, which will do a couple of lights along the ceiling. Not like smoke detectors to disconnect, because this used to be like a HMO. So basically a house with loads of, loads of rooms in for uh, students and that, it was like a student accommodation. So it doesn't need it, so they want those ditching out. And then we've got a few sockets to replace. Uh, and then we're going to send some cables down to the switches so from either side of the bed you can turn it on and off which is cool rather than getting up and having to switch it off by the door and uh, as we've got then, just a few cables to tidy up from the old switching so we'll have to kill that and uh, get rid of all that mess so let's, uh, let's crack on action so <laughs> we've got these marked out then so it's going to be a king size bed so that's going to be a middle at the wall, so we've measured the middle, it's a king size bed, so we've done the width, divided by two, done that distance, done that distance, then most people put in like a little 400 cabinet, so we've come 200 out to the centre of where the socket and switch is going to go, we've copied the heights of the other sockets that are getting replaced, if not you'd have one socket, one height, one socket, the other, and you want to keep them the same, consistency is key, right, and then done the same for this side of the bed, so we've got a socket and a switch. So heights of the switches then, so I've done these at 800, so when you're in bed, your bed's probably about this high, uh, you can access it nice and easy. If it was quite high up, like 1200, you'd be kind of reaching up and you won't be able to reach it, but yeah. If you get it, obviously the cabinet will probably sit about five, 600 if they go for something like that, then, uh, then yeah, they'll be able to reach the light switch nice and easy. So you're going to take into account all this, this socket then, <clears throat> builders put it there and we've just um, moved it over slightly to centralise it between the two windows so there's going to be radiator, radiator, built in wardrobes so we're going to put a socket there then if you can see so that's the same height as the others chased out then so what we're going to do is get a floorboard up underneath each socket and each switch so we're going to get a route if you look the floorboards run this way so all we have to do is get a floorboard up there we can fish this way drill through drill through drill through drill through and get cables from the switch position <laughs> i'll have to come through here but anyway so from the switch down pick up um one light switch next light switch and for the sockets we've just got to extend the ring so there's a socket here which is part of the ring so if you can see there's two cables coming in. So the way the sockets are done, grab me a pencil. Right then. So you got a little uh, little consumer unit that'll come out of there to loads of sockets like that. Maybe loads of little sockets on there. Now if we want to add the little bedroom, left hand side of the bed, right hand side of the bed socket, what we're gonna do is split this, and then we send that cable to here, a little link between and then connect it back on, obviously, onto that connection there. So your bed won't be a ring. At 110 million, who'll give me 120? Give me 140, 130 million. 140 million is bid at 140 million. There you go, and that's how you do sockets. So it has to be a 2.5 cable, uh, it'll be on a 32 amp breaker. Um, and yeah, the cable won't set on fire with that, so <laughs> there we go. Uh, so obviously we will have to disconnect that at some point. If we run as new sockets, um, so it'd be from here to there, here to there, there to here, here, back. Oh, I've got to pick up that wall socket, so I'll pick up that and then back, and then we're done. In fact, let's do a little intro on how to lift up a floorboard then. So we've got this floorboard to come up then. So you look, you can see where the joists are, but you should see little nails across it. So we've got a fixing here, a fixing there, so we want to come this side of that fixing. So we should check the multi tool see where the wood comes to. So let's send them across. So that's 
where the wood stops when you drill between the floorboards and hit against that joist. So we're going to be drilling this side of the wood. So when the floorboard go, goes back down, we've got this much of floorboard to land on top of that wood so it'll just sink in. You put it go through the floor. So now we know where the wooden joist is, we can now zip across it, do the same to the other side, and then we'll whiz out the tongue and groove. Looking good. So you're gonna make sure not to go too deep in case there's any cables or pipes. We'll do the same to the other side. So that's that done then. So you now whiz down your, your tongue and groove. So you wanna get it that much in. So you don't go too deep. It should just lift it out. There we go. We've got a nice little lip for this to sit back down. No, oh, oh. see that looks like a bit of wood rot or like little weevils eating away at it. It's really mushy. Look at it. Nice. And another dodgy connection. Nice. I don't know. Alright, time for a little trip out then. So I'm just going to go pick up some few bits from the wholesalers. So, Traffic can be a bit of a nightmare if you tip it wrong. So if you go anything around lunchtime-ish, so it's 10.40 now, so if we go lunchtime-ish, we'll basically uh, just be sat in traffic for like an hour, which we don't want. I'm definitely when it's only five minutes away, this all sailors. And there we go, we've got York Minster there, looking beautiful. Yes, good old beefy. Hey, we got the pot noodle, we got the can of pop, look at this, York straighteners are right, innit? There, uh, and then what we've done, uh, we can get in. So either side of bed, there's going to be a USB socket then. So if you look there, it's USB-C, so um, Thryon is the brand I've started coming out with. USB-C stuff, which is cool, so it'll be like, a charge even faster than normal USB. But yeah, I'm going to munch this pot noodle and we'll get back into this. And the trusty pot noodle stir is back out again. Look at that, works perfectly. Bit of earth cable. <laughs> right, what would I rate this pot noodle then? Mm, it's not bad. So, of course, you get the water out of the vending machine, like the hot water. It's not quite boiling, so it doesn't quite do what it's supposed to be doing. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's not bad for free. And we're back. Just going to get some roots through next then. So you want to check the other side of the joist. And then for the middle, the middle is one handed. There we go. Let's get those through then. The cable to run in. Yeah, I was thought I'd buy this then, Milwaukee pack out. So what was it, tool tool station? Yeah, tool station we're selling them 20 quid. I thought I'd just get one. So I've got the pack out hoover. Just it was just a hoover. And I'm not bothered about pack out, but I'm going to put it in, spin it, and oh, look at this. It's not going anywhere. It's not, oh, it has spilled out. <laughs> this is the review. It does spill, but it's not really going too far. Like you can pick up your hoover with it. That's cool, isn't it? And if you want a drink, a little, little twist, and it comes off. And then, I need to do that. That's it. Hello. And it flicks back. Boom. And then fires coffee out, apparently. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this. We've got top tip then, so they've got the 70mm insulation all the way to the back. So, this is his cable long enough. So what we've done is just sent a bit of cable down, any, any old thing. Tied on. This is two cables. And then what we'll do. Oh, look at this. Not falling over. We will get that up the wall. So we're gonna push under, pull up. There we go, tied on. That's his cable for a socket. Lovely. <laughs> right, we've got some interesting things, right? So we've got two cables coming up the wall and then a cable out, so it's feed in, feed out. So basically the live and neutral is the brings power to the light and that's how it works. Because you need power to it, through the lamp, and then down the neutral, you've got a, um, a circuit there where it can flow through and the light turns on. Obviously that just powers up one ND switch, and then when you flick your switch, the power runs through up that cable and out to your light. So that's what we're looking at there, so... Yeah, battery died. Right, so... 
I'll just describe this. Yeah, so at the moment we've got we need four cores up the wall to make it work. We need the neutral, and then to two way, you basically need uh, permanent live, switch live, and the common. Um, so that's what I did. So we need three cores and the four for the neutral. So we could find these cables underneath there. Okay, the issue is uh, where that that is. See, it comes along here. We'd have to take up the board and try and get up and then chase up, but yeah. We'll have to start lifting up carpets and disturbing that end and the carpet gripper. So what we're going to do is find those cables that run this way. And what we'll do is chop in down there, make the feed and feed out do its thing. And then what we're going to do is nick neutral and permanent live still. So that we'll use one of the cards for, for neutral and permanent live. And the other two cards which comes up, we're going to make it do switch live and common. So that way, the guy don't have to plaster all this. We don't have to mess about with the carpets and stuff. And that's how you do it. If you know how to, uh, if you know how things work as far as cabling, that's what gets you out of it. So, smart way really. So I'm just going to go three core on earth under there, attach onto those cores, up to one switch, up to the second switch. Jobs are got in. So all the cables are wired. I'm just chasing these depths, the back boxes, and getting these chases in. So a good tip then is just to go back and forward with the drill bit, side to side, get it nice and perfect, not angled like this. Like oh, that, otherwise your chase will be angled. And then get it nice and flush. And your box will fit in. Perfect. There we go, that's the switch wired up then. Well, it will be. But that's the cable. That's the back box earth, the cable's ready. So we've got the cables in. So they're just penny washed, just keep it behind the plaster. And the plaster plasters it, it'll be nice and neat and sweet. Once the cables come in the bottom there, so sort of round to L, blue to N, and then earth to earth. There we go. So once that screws back, that's going to go nice and flush. Once the plaster has been, so it's the plaster that makes you look good, really. Uh, if he does a good job. And then we're going to chase this in, do the same setup over here. Then you've got to switch your, gate, your light on from here, here, and over by the door here. There you go. So then, what's the difference between these two switches? Have a look. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone seen this before? Anyone? Anyone know the effects? Yes, we've got four terminals here and three here. So what this does, this is a two-way switch. So it connects the top one to either that terminal or that terminal. So when you switch it, it just switches to the other side. There we go. Now this one, what this does, so this one will connect to that and that one will connect to that. And then when you switch it, all it does is reverse it. So this one connects to that and then that connects to that. So on the intermediate then, <coughs> the common, so the cable, it's got three cores. The brown one will just connect through, that'll be a common. And the two, they're called strappers. He's gonna bang them here and here, coming in, and here and here, coming out to the next switch. And all you're doing is just reversing L1 and L2, like that. So the cables that come out of this on one end, just get reversed, and that turns the light off. And then when you flick it again, it gets reversed, it turns back on. Cool stuff. So there we go, that's the intermediate wire then. So you've got browns in the back, they're just put together. And then you've just got black and grey on the top, and black and grey at the bottom. So that'll get tucked in nicely. And there we go, so once that switches back, that'll be uh, ready to go. Now you like this then. So CK sent out this E-driver. So I've just done a little TikTok for him. But look, little, this little beast. It's got a, a torque setting, so you can pick the newton meter you want, up to six newton meter. And look at that. Now you can swap out whatever you want. It's just a hex, just like a normal drill. So you can swap out whatever kind of uh, attachment you want. I'm getting back in with one hand. There we go. That's spot on that. So fixing back it's fixing back socket. So you know, in terms of fuse board, you just go mm, 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 and get everything nice and tight. So the perfect torque setting. It's cool. Let's try out to wire the switch then. So I'm gonna use that left cable coming in. See, there's just two twin in there. So uh, you got uh, brown and blue, brown and blue. So we're gonna show you how to do this. We're gonna, obviously, we're gonna do the neutral and permanent live. So that'll be this cable then. So the permanent live will go into L1 or L2 on the switch. And obviously the neutral's there. And then we're gonna obviously reuse this blue, which was a feed going out, but we're gonna reuse that cable. So we get another two cards coming down. And that is gonna do switch live and common. So obviously that'll be the common which goes into the connector block in that switch and the common in the end there. So that's gets wired up then. 
So we've got a switch lab we've used as the blue of the other cable, and that's obviously the switch lab going up to your light, which is this one, is going to connect into there. Permanent was from the other one, that's going in L2. So we're not, not, not going to do it the other way around, but oh well. And then common, which is obviously the goes in common here. And then that connector blocks in the back of the other one and the common in the other end. So that's all set up. So I'm just going to screw this back then. And when we're chopping down there, we're just going to um, tone out which, which cable will connect common to switch line. And then we know we've got the right cable. That's it. So we've got the powers back on then. So we'll flick that on, and that works. And we've got for intermediate switch, that's it on. There we go, that's it back on. That's it off again. And it's all working. So you can see how you can, along that kind of path of the three core and earths running through, you can just tap in permanent live, neutral and earth, as long as it's wired. Common L1, L2, one end, common L1, L2, the other one. Any kind of intermediates, you put a little connector block in like that, so for the common, and then the, the strappers, you just go uh, one terminal, two terminal, one terminal, two terminal. But if you wanted another intermediate somewhere else, you could just take that cable, um, run it via another one, and back out again, and back out again, back out again, and it'll still just switch those two strappers around, which turns the lights on and off. There you go. Yeah, I'm just going to have a bit of a tidy up and then that'll be us done down here. So yeah, that's all we've got time for today then. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification to know when we next upload. So it's a good one from me and I'll see you. Y you on the next one. Yeah, battery died.